This is Deborah Peters and welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. I have a question for you. Do you suffer from imposter syndrome? Because that's what today's show is all about. Now, this has been rolled out in a variety of ways over the last few years. You know, I am worthy, I am enough, um, you know, working on our self-esteem and the relationship that we have with ourselves. I want to take it to another level that has a real application to business, and that is feeling like an imposter. So many times we show up at the table and we feel a little unsure of our right to be there. Now, I've had that experience too. When I first started out as a professional speaker and a coach, and I actually had people say that to me, that, you know, you shouldn't be here, you're not ready, um, this is the expert table only. I've heard all kinds of things that essentially those people were just espousing to keep the space for themselves. And we'll get into that as I go through this video. So imposter syndrome, it's actually a feeling if there's ever a time in your life you were ever told that you're not enough or you're not good enough or maybe it wasn't said to you directly, maybe it was just a belief system that your family held, you know, this is our, this is our space in the world, don't expect to be, do or have anything more than this because this is all we are. If you've come from any kind of programming like that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about and this show is for you. So when you're told that you're not enough, it becomes an internal dialogue. It becomes this conversation that you're having with yourself all of the time, whether you realize it or not. It's actually um, like an unconscious patterning that takes place and it develops and builds up as a feeling in your body so that all you have to do is walk into something where that gets triggered, whether it's a meeting or an event or, um, or a, a round table of any sort of networking, then that can get triggered and then you start to go into that mental chatter again about, you know, I'm not really sure if I belong here, you know, everybody else at the table is more accomplished than me, whatever that inner dialogue is that is keeping you feeling like you're an imposter. Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not an imposter. And by the very nature that you're at the table means you belong at the table. There is no mistake about that. If you're at the table, you do not have to apologize. You do not have to justify. You do not have to explain to anyone how you got there because they don't need to know. You got there and all that matters is you're there as much as they're there. So I think too that sometimes this is a societal norm. If I keep calling it the Newtonian physics paradigm that came from, you know, we have to see it to believe it. Therefore, unless there's this scientific tangible proof um, that it can't possibly be. And, you know, we're not there anymore. We're in a place of, of consciousness where we realize that everything is energy. So with that said, if everything is energy, so is this feeling of being an imposter. You have to change that within you. That's what I mean when I'm talking about creating a deeper, more meaningful, loving, aligned relationship with yourself. When you get into that place, then you'll never feel like an imposter again because you'll know that through energy of your thought, through the energy of your intentions, you're actually creating your reality. So if you've created that reality, you're not going to be stepping into anything that you're not belonging at. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're there because you're meant to be there. So here's what's interesting though is, you know, in human behavior, 
no one's actually, rarely, I'm not going to say no one, rarely is anyone going to recognize that you have all this greatness in you and you just need a little bit of encouragement and then they take you under their wing and they, you know, shuffle their seat over and make room for you and encourage you to speak out and, and contribute to the dialogue at hand. Sometimes that happens. I've actually experienced having amazing mentors like that, but in the norm, the large percentage of the time, that doesn't happen. And I can tell you from leading a board that represented probably one of the largest populations in the United States and geographical area that was part of a national trade association that was predominantly male, feeling like an imposter is really truly something you have to get over really quick. And when I took on that project, honestly, it was like baptism by fire. I had no idea how cutthroat and underhanded and how much projection people do. Because what I learned through that experience is that the people that are at the table that are talking the most and making the most noise are the people that have the least to contribute and they're, they're covering up, it's a mask, they're covering up their insecurities and they're actually working double time or triple time to hide the fact that they feel like an imposter. So it's really important that you take the time every day to cultivate and align your energy before you go out into the world. Because could you can you imagine how painful it is? I know you can because you've probably had this experience, which is why I'm cutting this, this show on this topic. To go out there and you're working hard and you have dreams and you have goals, you, you want to be of service, you want to be a contributor, and then you get to the table and there's someone at the table that is super insecure and they're making a lot of noise, trying to puff up their chest and make themselves look important at your expense. And if you take that on energetically, you're going to buy into it and then you're going to feel like you don't belong. And then of course, what we focus on expands, you'll end up not belonging. So the flip side of that, is to get into alignment every day, to meditate, to set your intentions, to be self-aware of the narrative in your head so that you know that when you're going to the table, that you're going to the table well-equipped and by the very nature that you've actualized this opportunity to be at the table means unequivocally that you belong at the table. So with that said, um, let me just check my notes, that people that are at the table that don't belong at the table are told by society's status quo that they just naturally belong at the table. And we're still seeing this massive um, gap between women at boardroom tables and men. We're still not seeing a gender balance. So I want to invite all the women that don't believe that they belong at the table, that when they get to the table and they end up sitting next to the men at the table who are making all the noise and puffing up their chest and acting like you don't belong at the table, but they do, that it's, it's just a, a projection and it's not true. So own your space, own your power, own your gifts, own your talent, and know that you have just as much to contribute as the next person. And then speak up, speak up, and, and please stop asking for permission to speak up. Just speak up. You have something to contribute, then contribute it. Be that thought leader. Be that, 
that change agent, be that person at the table that gets people to think differently, that actually brings a different perspective to the table and lays it out as an opportunity for everyone to connect to. When you get pushback, hold your ground, hold your ground, because what you have to say has value. We need diversity. We need diversity in cultures. We need diversity in religion. We need diversity in gender. We need diversity. If we're all thinking the same, then life is going to be terribly boring. Imagine if we all only liked the color blue and everyone painted everything in blue, drove blue cars, wore blue clothing. If everything was blue, imagine what a drab blue world it would be. So don't worry about thinking that you don't belong. You are not an imposter. You have something very valuable to offer. And I encourage you to step up to the plate, take your seat at the table, and own your space in the world. Thank you so much for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share. I would love to hear comments. And I'm keeping on producing these videos. So you just let me know what you would like me to cover. Have a blessed day, everybody. Ciao.